So let's say you've got, uh, you know, you're a worldwide company. You've got a uh, North America, and then you've got like a, uh, let's say, United States. If you want, on a per user basis, you can go in here to your settings, and let's say you've got people in, you know, the Spain office, for instance. Uh, you can see, go in, set it up, tell it to use Spanish, and immediately you'll see that it's, you know, every option is translated. Now let's go Spanish. in and add one for Al, but this time, let's do it, uh, use and let's set it up as a template. So the way we do that, this button lets you add templates. And what a template is, you can think of it almost like a, a class, whereas the instance was my computer, the class would be like MacBooks. So um, it's just a little bit weird because... This shows the value of that OC SNG app. You know, imagine all your computers on the network. Now you've got 50 employees, all the different software applications running. Isn't it going to be great to have those call back in and report, you know, A, their existence, and B, their inventory of what's running on them? Really powerful feature, and we'll definitely... So, provided that you've got your, your email notifications set up correctly, you can actually specify that on the support contract. You can say, you know, give me email alerts when this stuff is expired. But anyways, I'm going to cut it off there. That's the tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I hope it gives you enough of what you need to get started with the GLPI app. Um, the shameless plug here is that we're Jumpbox and while we didn't actually write the application, um, we are a small company that's dedicated to making tools like GLPI easier to use. And so we've got about 40 applications right now like that one in our library that all deploy with the same experience that you saw in the beginning there. And so a bunch of them are free. You're welcome to come and just use any of these you like. And the hope is that if you find them useful, you consider purchasing a subscription um, because it's really a useful toolkit of stuff that helps you get more work done in your day. And we're devoted not just to making that install and deployment and management experience easier, but we'll continue to produce videos like this and uh, you know, try to help you be immediately productive with the application. But anyways, leave a comment on the blog if you've got a question. I'll try to answer it. And uh, until the next episode, ramp up with open source. I'll see you later.